here at Haley's Toyota today. We're doing the builds for season three, and I want to take a little bit of a break and show you uh, the setup in the back of the Tacoma. The passenger side of the truck, we actually have our large adventure box. There's a compression latch that holds the drawer face in, and there's also a locking mechanism in the slider itself. Inside of our drawer system, we've configured it with roto packs and some equipment from Blue Ridge Overland Gear to kind of keep everything organized and neat where we need it and when we need it when we're on the trip. This system is a little bit heavy, so you're probably going to need to do some sort of upgrade to your suspension system, but very reliable. When we first got the drawer system, it came without the compression latch and we were running into a problem where we were blowing out the tab that holds the slide in place and holds the drawer in place. So working with Groose Gear um, gave us an opportunity to actually test some of this equipment and we came to the realization that we did need to install a compression latch system. Now they've incorporated that system into all of their products that they designed today. So here on the driver's side of the bed in the back of the Tacoma, we have our secondary storage system. To access this, for myself, it's easiest to open the rear sliding window of the Tacoma, and then I'll reach in, pull a tab, and lift the system up. The way that the system works is there's actually a piano hinge on the back of it, so it's a tilting mechanism as opposed to like a sliding drawer that slides out. From there, I can reach in and access just about everything that I need to. For the stuff that's in the back of that unit, I'll have to climb in the back of the truck and get to it. Again, this is for stuff that you want to keep at camp when you're getting set up. You can climb in there, get the things that you need and such. From Goose Gear, there was nothing on the box, nothing on the top of the box. A very durable working surface. However, I carry dogs in the back of my truck on a regular basis. So I needed to provide something for them to be able to actually grip onto so they weren't sliding all over the place, right? So all I did was go to Tractor Supply and picked up a roll of bed liner and then laid it out and cut it to fit. To hold it in place, I use L-Track just from Northern Tools. You can buy it on the internet or you can find a local Northern Tool shop and you can buy your L-Track. L-Track allows you to install rings wherever you need fit. So I can essentially, if I'm not carrying a dog, I can put several Pelican cases back here. I can put aluminum medical case, cases back here and chests and things like that and I can anchor them down using NRS straps or some sort of quick release strap system. So the L-Track gives us the ability to anchor down our equipment back here so we know it's secure and in the right spot when we're hitting big bumps and moving across some rough terrain. We got a CAD design from Goose Gear that laid out the exact dimensions of the floor bed of the truck and then we supplied that design to a local shop here where they actually CNC'd the cutout for this template that's in the back of the truck. And then the boxes are installed on that template. I'm using the two tie down points on either side here towards the back of the truck. And I'm using two points that I actually drilled through um, the box and then through the template down through the bottom of the bed up towards the front. Yeah, it's a very solid system. It's in place. It doesn't wobble around. The trick though is getting it actually installed after you drill. I have to pull the drawer out and then I remove the slides and then I can crawl in there and then at that point I can put my bolt through and then I have a friend or something from underneath actually tighten the, tighten the nut while I hold the bolt. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I've actually done it several times. I've removed it from the truck and then put it back in if I've got to go, you know, if I'm going to be hauling something or if I need to remove the cap and I've only had to do that a few times but through the process of installing and, and removing, installing and removing, I've got it kind of nailed down. I can all do it myself. So a little bit of a trick there, but once it's in place, it's set, it's good to go. But it's the same point in time, it's completely removable. The great thing about working with Goose Gear is that we were able to actually customize our design. So we said um, we'd like to build a system that would incorporate a slide at, at bed level so we don't have to reach into anything. Very general concept, and again, the holes were mounted or drilled into this system so that uh, they've integrated into the template and they can be easily removed and installed whenever we need to. So if you want to learn more about Goose Gear, you can visit Goose Gear at goose-gear.com and learn more about the products that can be installed in your vehicle.